great a'imma of the deen none of them heard of so it's not good it's just not good قَالْ فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ يَا مَعْشَرَ الْقُرَّاءِ خُذُوا طَرِيقَ مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ He gave, an, he gave advice to those people who speak a lot. They memorize Quran and they give lectures and give sermons and powerful sermons. He said, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't just say anything. Just because you're eloquent and you know Quran and you can mention a lot of proofs. He said, fear Allah. The only way you can call to the haq and to the truth if you hold on to the path of those who came before you. The Sahaba radhi that's why you find so many Muslims these days because they don't know these principles, easy principles. Number one is that the, this deen is the deen of Allah. Its entirety is from Allah. There is not like 10% uh, of it is left for us to make ishtihad. It's all of it from Allah. And Allah has completed and perfected this religion. And the Prophet ﷺ has conveyed the entire religion. And that the Sahaba, عليهم, who they were self chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be the companions, they have implemented the deen of Allah and called to it. They made sacrifices. So, so why is it that still certain people fall like for tricks? Just because someone is eloquent and he's going to twist the meaning of this ayah or this hadith, and people still follow them on that, not even asking one simple question what you calling us to now any one of the companions did this is this is how they dealt with this matter or the other is this is how they performed this act of worship or, or, or the other simple question if the person says yes then the next question is easy what is it present your proofs if he said you don't trust me it's not about trusting you. I'm not doing a business with you. Trust you or not. This is the deen of Allah. You're telling me the Sahaba, this is how they did it. I want to know who from the Sahaba. And where it is recorded. But if he said, I don't know. Then you say, Akhi, taqillah. Taqallam bi ilm. Aw skut bi hilm. Speak with knowledge or do yourself a big favor. Be quiet and go learn. Don't just call the people. Wow, Akhi, wow, look, when you look at the Twitter, man, it's like a lot of people twittering it. Is this is from the deen of Allah? Just because a lot of people are twittering something that is from the deen of Allah now? No. What's from the deen of Allah is that which the Sahaba they were upon. They know it. That which the Prophet Sallallahu left for us because the Prophet Sallallahu says, تَرَكْتُ فِيكُمْ مَا مَا إِن تَمَسَّكْتُمْ بِهِ لَن تَضِلُّوا بَعْدِ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّتِ I have left with you that which if you hold on firm to, you will never go astray after me. Never. Ever. Doesn't matter what the people throw at you. Doesn't matter how eloquent they may be. Doesn't matter how shaitan purify that evil and, and, and bring it in the form of sunnah. Bid'ah stinks always. It's like a rotten cake. Doesn't matter. You, you may put the best icing on it. Still, it's, gonna, it's not going to change the reality. A rotten cake will stay a rotten cake. Nobody one slice of it. But other people who don't know the reality, they just go for the icing. And then they get sick later on, right? Hmm? Especially when they give them a slice in a night dark. Can't even see. Likewise, Ahlul Bida, they mask the Bida. They make it beautiful, this eloquency, in an entertainment fashion. Because a lot of people who don't know, they just want to be entertained. And then when you come and tell them to do sunnah, tawheed, like, oh, these guys are harsh, man. Allah is merciful. And they want to confuse everything and mix everything. La ya we have to be aware of these innovations. Naam. The third statement, I'm reminding myself with, and then for all of you, my dear brothers, is a statement of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the great companion. One of the great companions from the companions of the Messenger of Allah. صلى الله عليه وسلم ورضي الله عنهم قال من كان مستنا فليستن بمن قد مات الله أكبر من كان مستنا فليستن بمن قد مات if anyone he says wants to take certain people as an example let him take those who they died upon the حق as an example don't just take anyone now. No. 
And then he says, because he's one of the companions, who he meant with those who they died upon the haq, the companion. He said, Ulaika ashabu Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, you want to hold on to the path of certain people? Take them as your role model? model? Whatever they were upon was the haq. Those companions who died as companions, they died upon the haq. They died upon that which they were upon when the Prophet sallallahu was alive. They didn't change anything after his death. And they died on that which he has left them upon. These are the people you want to follow them. Follow their path. كَانُوا خَيْرَ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ then Ibn Mas'ud, he gave us a description of the companions of the Messenger of Allah. He said they were the best of this Ummah, and that's true. Nobody is better than them. And we as a human, by nature, we always want to be with the best. Right or wrong? You want to wear the best, you want to eat the best, you want to drive the best car, you want to live in the best neighborhood, you want to get the best job. Right or wrong? This is what it is. You want to be with the best team, even if you're playing football or basketball, just for fun. Still, wanna, you don't want to be with the losing team. When you look at the people who you know they can play, you're like, man, can I be with you, man? Please, man, i give you something, little man, my ice cream. Please, man, I want to be with you, man. You're the best, guys. I, 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 can I get to play with you, please? Why? Because he's the best guy. And your friend, by who's your best friend, but he's a, your teacher in the Quran. Right? Yeah, listen, maybe you're my teacher in the Quran, but can I just go play with those guys, man? You, I'm going to be with you. You're the best in the Quran, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come to you at the masjid, all right? But here now we're playing some football, man. I don't want to lose. But here are the best. When you come to the deen of Allah, who are the best? Is it this so-called callers now who's entertainers, making people laugh on... on and, and just because they're famous on, on, on WhatsApp or whatever, on Twitter or on the internet, they said you find many Muslims are following them and, and they forget about the ulama, forget about the scholars. Look, he said, you, you want to hold on firm to something? Hold on firm to what the companions they were upon. But we need to know what they were upon. So if somebody tried to call us to something else, we only know. We be cautious. He says, كَانُوا خَيْرَ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ The companions, they were the best of this ummah. وَأَبَرُّهَا قُلُوبًا No one has, was more righteous and have the purest heart because they have the purest heart. The purest hearts are the hearts of, the, of these companions in this ummah. وَأَعْمَقُهَا عِلْمًا Likewise, they have the deepest of knowledge. Knowledge is not about like talking eloquent way. No, knowledge is saying what is right saying what is right with the adilla and having the sound understanding not just give a big lecture okay what is the point sometimes a person is asked a question and he speaks for half an hour and go here and there and people who don't know anything they're like man that's amazing one question he gave a whole lecture as an answer but those who they know, they're still going to ask him. He said, you finished? Yeah. What is the answer? He's like, no, I gave you half an hour. That's what you gave. Nobody asked you to speak for half an hour. We just ask you for the answer to this question. It is not in there? It's, no, it's not. Look at the answers of the ulama. If you, if you look at the answer of Sheikh Salah al-Fawzan now. Amazing. One sentence or two. Sometimes two words. And that's the answer. But you're going to bring somebody else? They're going to like, just because they want the people. They, they, they're in love with that. They just want the people to think that they can speak and they can talk. It's not about saying a lot. Saying what is right. Or be silent. To the Prophet ﷺ, he says, مَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا أَوْ يسمت. He who amongst you believe in Allah on the last day should say that which is right which is khair, which is good for the people and beneficial, we'll just say Allah alam and be quiet. But those who they want a name for themselves, they cannot say I don't know. Because maybe most of the people that were at that, they're like, he don't know, so why we should listen to him and sit in his class next time? His rating will drop. See, the ratings will drop down. He's going to have bad reviews 
and they care about that. Whereas the ulama, they don't care about that. They care about the khair. That the people have to be upon khair, upon good. If they know it, they be glad to say it. They don't, they say Allahu A'lam. That's why you find sometimes Sheikh bin Baz. They ask him questions, he says Allahu A'lam. They ask him questions, he says, uh, write it down, write this down. To someone who is with him, we have to review this. We have to review this. Allahu Akbar, ulama. Great Sheikh, towards the end of his, and before him, Imam Malik, rahimahullah, a delegation came the whole way from Iraq to Medina, a long journey, asking many questions, he said to most of them, I don't know. And they said, subhanAllah, what are we going to tell the people back in Iraq? They tell them, Malik said, I don't know. And the companions before, Ibn Umar, they come to him, said, I don't know, go ask Ibn Abbas. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And the Prophet himself. Yes alunaka an isa, yes alunaka an al wahid, yes alunaka an kada, yes alunaka an al khamri wal maser. Prophet Sallallahu he wait for revelation. Because this is the deen of Allah, man. You know, speak with knowledge. You don't know, still be quiet upon knowledge. Because Allah says, Wala taqfu ma laysa laka bihi ilm. Ever, never, ever speak without knowledge. No. قال قوم اختارهم الله لصحبة نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم ونقل دينه الله أكبر he says these are the people the sahaba as described by one of them ابن مسعود رضي الله عنه وعن الصحابة he says these are people that Allah has chosen to be the companions of his prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم ونقل دينه Allah chose them to carry the deen, to his deen, to the people. فَتَشَبَّهُ بِأَخْلَاقِهِمْ وَتَرَائِقِهِمْ So emulate their manners and their ways. فَهُمْ كَانُوا عَلَى الْهَدِي الْمُسْتَقِيمِ He says, because they were upon the straight path. They were upon the upright guidance. Allahu Akbar. So this is very important what we learn today. If this is the only benefit we can come out with and we can always remember that whenever you hear anything or somebody presents you with anything, just say, listen, we know that the companions of the Messenger of Allah Wasallam they were chosen by Allah to be His companions, the companions of His Prophet Wasallam, and to transmit the deen of Allah to, to His people. And they are the best of this ummah. As the Prophet said, Khairun Nasi Qarni, the best of the people is my generation. So, what you are calling to, what you are practicing, what you are doing, what you are calling the people to and saying it is from the deen of Allah, get closer to Allah, it's a good thing, it's a good bid'ah, this. Any one of the companions know this? The answer is yes, no, I don't know. Right or wrong? Anything else? That's it. That's, that's the answer. Yes, this is what the companions. All right, prove it for me, please. If they prove it, alhamdulillah. Because sometimes we may see things practiced, and we just because we don't know, it doesn't mean it's not from the deen of Allah. Just because we don't know. But when somebody says, Ya Akhi, subhanAllah, look, Sayyid al-Bukhari, Sayyid al-Muslim, this is something. Well, here is a hadith. Here is many a hadith, actually. Alhamdulillah. Now we learn something. But if a person says, Yes, the companions, they were upon this, prove it. Uh, let, let's, let's do it but I give you the proof later on next month are you going to do that? it's like someone give you something to drink say, Achy, this look like a terrible drink what's, what's in it? finish it I'll tell you what's in it would you finish it? you won't take a sip right or wrong you don't take the risk because you see something like Achy, I never drink this what is this? good for you good very good what's in it? I'll tell you after you finish drinking it. <laughs> would you drink it? Would you drink it? No. You would not. Akhi, tell me what it is. Akhi, I won't tell you. But if I tell you, I have to. You know what they say, right? Yeah. Same thing. But if you drink that juice, this is going to make you sick. But if a person accepts that bid out, that innovation, it's not going to just make him sick. It's going to make him, subhanAllah, may take him out of the path of Allah. 
So they say, or they so I don't know. 